the DBM dual battery manager has three to four uh, charge levels. It has a uh, bulk mode, absorption mode and float mode. And for some batteries, the equalize mode as force charge mode can be selected. While uh, doing the installation, there are six different selections possible in what the DBM can work. We see here, we have here low, mid and high level and equalize. That means we can select low level, we can select low level with equalize mode, mid level, mid level with equalize mode or high level and high level with equalize mode. Some basic information what level is for what type of batteries. Low level is mainly used for uh, most gel batteries. Mid level is used for uh, AGM batteries and lithium type batteries. And high level is for uh, AGM batteries, round cell batteries like Optima batteries and some lithium type batteries. Low stands for 14.0 charge voltage, mid for 14.4 volt charge voltage and high for 14.8 volt charge voltage. If equalize is also selected with all these three charge levels, this is increasing the charge voltage for a dedicated time by 0.6 volts. The equalize mode is a special charge mode and is actually improving the battery condition in the minimum of 30 days or later. To check the correct uh, charge settings always um, consult the corresponding data sheets. I show you here the installation of the DBM system. First step, install both fuse holders to main and auxiliary battery. Second step, connect the black ground wire to the minus of the batteries. Make sure that you have access to the yellow uh, link and program wire. Now connect the red wire from the DBM to the fuse box. The DBM has now started and we go now through the program cycle by touching the yellow wire to minus. There are six different program steps. They are all in a cycle, so if you go one step too far, you can always just keep going until you find the correct position, the right program step you would like to have with your batteries. We use now high level with equalize mode. And now it started flashing and the system is now active. Last step is attach the blue wire to the second fuse box and the basic installation is ready. I show you most of the different DBM applications. We start now with the most simple one. This is the three wire connection with just red, black and blue connected. All the three other wires, what we have here, yellow, green and blue are not connected. Left we have starter battery, right is auxiliary battery. This is the, the current charge meter for the auxiliary battery. Now we start the engine. The system leaves now the standby mode. Now it starts the activation mode. We see here now it starts charging 
uh, the auxiliary battery with around 21, 22 amps into auxiliary battery. Slowly the voltage on the auxiliary battery is rising. Now we stop the engine again. The voltage on the starter battery drops. The DBM has detected there is no charge present anymore on the starter battery. Shuts down the DBM into a sleep mode. There is no charge current anymore. Now I show the DBM application with smart alternators. Therefore we have installed the light blue wire to ignition or terminal 15 under the dash. With the switch here we are simulating the ignition switch. I start now the car. On the ignition signal we have a positive voltage, alternator is charging, DBM is waiting for the first charge cycle. What happened now? We see now the system is charging again with 21 amps into auxiliary battery. Auxiliary battery is rising and now the alternator is going into uh, the idling mode. The alternator is reducing the voltage to about 12.2 volts. The DBM is still keeping the charge up, so we still have the 22 amps into auxiliary battery. The alternator is kicking in now again, means charge voltage is rising. In this case going back to 14 volts. DBM is still charging with the 22 amps. And now we are turning off the car. So the car is uh, switched off. The charge voltage has uh, dropped away on the starter battery. DBM has recognized the uh, engine has been stopped and there is no further charge into auxiliary battery anymore. Now I show you the automatic relay detection. Therefore uh, you have completed the basic DBM installation. Now you finish the installation of the IBS relay and the link button corresponding to the manual. When this is completed, start the car. You hear now the click from the relay. So the system has now automatically detected the relay. We see also here the uh, relay LED goes off, goes on. Now we turn off the car again. Now do a check of the relay installation with the link button. First you have to wait until the DBM is in the standby status. What is now? Now I push the link button. We see now the relay LED goes on. We heard the clock from the relay over there. Uh, to uh, go back into automatic mode I push the link button for 8 seconds. Now the system goes back into uh, idle mode. With this link button here we can now also activate the 30 minute link or the 2 hour link. When I push the link button twice, what I do now, we have now activated the 2 hour link. We see it here with the relay flashing pattern. I can go back again to full automatic operation again, pushing link for 8 seconds. Now the relay has separated both batteries and because there is no other charge present, the 
DBM goes into idling mode, DBM status is green flashing. The IBS monitor with the software 8.1 can also be integrated into the DBM system with the relay. Therefore, I connect now the monitor. It shows now software version 8.1. So the system has now started. We see here now the charge level on main and auxiliary battery. Uh, the wiring is identical to the standard installation except the green wire, what we see here, goes into the link wire of the DBM. With the link button here, we can activate the relay. We see here the relay um, LED goes on. With the outer button, after 8 seconds, the system is separating the batteries again. We still have the 2 hour link, pushing link twice. Now the 2 hour link is activated. We see that here with the special flashing pattern of the relay LED. And again, pushing the outer button after 8 seconds, the system is going to separate the batteries again. That's the combination IBS-DBS software 8.1 in combination with IBS relay and the dual battery manager.